Generally, a casualty with an upper extremity wound will self-splint and have minimal use of their limb, especially if there is bone involvement. So why do we train to self-apply tourniquets in this position? Applying a tourniquet to yourself in this manner is unrealistic and creates training scars. Training should be conducted with minimal movement or manipulation of the injured extremity. Here is a more realistic method. The casualty takes a knee, indicating they are out of the fight. The injured arm is braced against the leg to allow initial tightening of the tourniquet, and the application is completed. Using a brace and training with a dead arm is a much more realistic training method. If in an open area, the ground can be used in the same manner to allow initial tightening. This is an important technique for law enforcement officers that could be wounded away from their vehicles or another type of cover. If behind cover such as a wall or a vehicle, it can also be used to assist in what we call a dead arm application. Training using these methods will ensure you are more prepared for a real-world tourniquet application.